All right, guys, we're back doing another weekly update. Today is Wednesday, the 6th of May. It's about 11 o'clock at night, and uh, you're going to be seeing this in about an hour. So I'm going to go over some things that I've been working on all this week and a lot of cool things to show you. So first off, let's start off here. So I'm working on restocking a lot of my heads. So you can see the urban heads are back in stock in tan, dark bluish gray. Then we have the yelling heads, as I call them, back in stock in reddish brown normal yellow then there's some light flesh under there restocked a bunch of the troll faces also restocked the russian recod heads that i call the militant heads in black and then i'll also be restocking a lot more of these meme heads because i have to make more meme mystery uh, meme mystery packs and those include five random meme heads and there's a lot of those so there's probably a hundred heads i need just for that pile of packs so that's kind of why i'm Working with all of these, as you can see, I've got my bin here. We got all white heads. We've got yellow, black, light flesh, all sorts of different colors. So I've been working on that. I'm going to be hopefully continuing that tomorrow. And then I've got a couple more heads over here. I don't want to show you guys. You can probably see them from there. Those are from our new release. So I'm also looking at my whiteboard over here. I don't want to show you because it's got some release items written down. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like seven new printed items that I'm working on, a small release. And then we have another big release coming, which is, well, I guess I'll just tell you the combat drones. So if we come over here, and uh, don't mind my snack there, but uh, these are the combat drones. And I finally finished printing these today. And I honestly thought about doing a live stream tonight, but I figured not a lot of people would join. But uh, I have to assemble all of these. So there's 50 tan and then there's 50 dark bluish gray and 50 white. I don't wanna show you the complete product yet. Actually, I will, why not? It'll probably be in the thumbnail. This is the white one. So this is the current prototype. It's not finalized, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. Then oh, obviously we do have the dark bluish gray one. And then the tan one, I'm still trying to figure things out with. Um, the problem is these clip pieces on the bottom, these tile modifieds, you, can't, you can get them in tan, but if I, I need, I think, 100 of them. And to get that many on BrickLink, they're like $9 a piece. So that I think this part was only in one set. And then this piece they don't make in tan. I thought about making my own piece and injection molding it myself in tan, but it's a lot more effort than I feel like going through for something like this. And uh, I kind of, I don't know. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best to do with these. These should be available within the next week. I know I've been talking about these for literally like six months and i'm so glad i spent the time today and just got them printed and the printing on these is incredible i'm really happy with how it turned out they all have arm printing front and back torso printing here are some of the pieces for the tops of the heads you can see that tile on top that's what these are for and then let's see i've got all of the white ones those are heads that are assembled there's the dark blue gray and um, just a lot of parts and a lot of assembling to do for these guys. And then I got to figure out packaging. And then um, I got to make sure I have all the right vests. So this is another reason why a while back I mentioned before I came out with the vest that I had to wait for these because I wanted to use my own vests. And normally these combat drones had a blank torso on them. So this was the torso that Chris Brickmock used on this one. But... Now that I use my vest, which is an open rig style, so you can see the torso on the front and back, I was like, well, that'd be kind of lame to have a blank torso. So I had my designer design something up and he came up with this design for the front and then the back. So just a quick little print, but it adds that detail that I'm trying to you know, keep it high detailed and uh, low cost for you guys. So I'm really liking how the white one turns out or turned out. And then another cool thing that I'm doing with these is since, these are so cheap, these studs. I'm including one of each of these colors in with each combat drone. So you can change out the color of the eyes. So like in this case, I have them as orange because I think the orange stands out and looks really cool. But if you want to change that out for like this cool green, you're going to get some of these in the pack. So you can swap out the eye color. I think that's a cool little added bonus that I'm going to be doing. So all of these, you can swap these colors out and um, you can just make them look however you want. I think the green looks kind of cool on the tan. Might actually, honestly, the green might look kind of cool on the uh, dark bluish gray. So it's just one of those things you can play with. 
when you get them. So these will be available in the next couple weeks. That's actually guaranteed because now I have all the printing done. So I'm excited about that. Another thing I did is Supreme Guns or Money Guns. They're back in stock. I made, I think there's like 60 of them right here. So they're kind of a pain in the butt to print because you can see how tiny that printing is. Um, but I went ahead, restocked a bunch of those today and uh, we're good on that. And then I'm trying to think what else... Oh yeah, blade packs, overmolded blade packs are back in stock. And then in here, this is actually really cool. This is all clean and I have a shelf now. And I think I talked about this. I don't think I've shown you guys, but I got this assembled. My girlfriend and I assembled this, reorganized all of this in here. Still got a little bit more organizing to do, but this is so nice because I can keep all of these bins open. You remember they were sitting right here and I'd have to shuffle through them to pack orders and open and close them. Now they just stay all open and I can just grab whatever someone orders and I can just go. And there's no more opening the lid every time, closing it, shuffling it around and all that. Just so much wasted time. So this is a huge time savings because I'm getting busier and busier. And if I can save, you know, I don't know, five minutes every time I have to pack orders. Let's say I pack orders. I don't know three times, four times, let's say five times a week. So that's 25 minutes a week, 25 minutes. So 25 times, whatever, 50. Um, I mean, that starts to add up. So it's little things like that, that I'm trying to improve. And then like all of these brackets for these bins, I'm probably going to put right there. My girlfriend had the idea to put them over here. I actually really do like that idea because this is a nice blank open space. Um, I've already thought about buying another one of these shelves and putting it right here. And I might be doing that, but I do like to be able to kind of walk over here a little bit more. And then this, we got organized. So it's mainly Mark five armor here. And then this is a lot of just miscellaneous storage. Eventually I am going to have to sort all this junk. A lot of this is just stuff that needs to be put away more properly. Um, especially these bottom two shelves, um, this is pretty good. I just got to deal with some little things here and there and all that needs to get fixed. But, you know, we're getting there. All of these bins have gotten taller because I basically moved everything there over here. So, yeah, really cool stuff, though. I'm really excited about that. So it's going to save me a lot of time. Um, cool little house we built together. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, what else? Um, I think I showed these in last week's episode maybe this is for another new product i'm working on i've talked about it a little bit but um it's basically some tank traps so you know how i use these in like d-day i'm going to be selling these but i'm also going to be printing on these tiles to add more detail to them and i'll be selling them as like a pack of like three of these for i don't know five bucks or something like that so if you're building mocks and you need these especially for like d-day um, these are great little things to add your mocks. They're easy to build, all that good stuff. So just stuff like that. I'm trying to bring new products to market. And then I did a new video series called, um, what did I call it? Lego Mashup Minifigs, I believe it was. Uh, Minifig Mashup. And this was the first figure I built. I think this figure is pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's kind of a Star Wars themed figure with some of my own modern combat, like printed legs and vests and stuff like that but i think this turned out really cool check that video out i'll put a card up in the section there but uh you know trying to figure out what kind of videos you guys like me to do other than the battle of the bulge and then obviously like you know weekly updates and stuff like that so let me know in the comments down below and then i am trying to get the armored car back in stock i have all the parts i just have to finalize the instructions and then it's just a click of a button to say that they're back in stock so Hopefully this and the combat drone, that's kind of my goal. If I could get these and the combat drones back in stock, that'd be a big deal for me. So that's kind of the goal because I know a lot of you guys keep emailing me and asking, you know, are you going to get the uh, armored cars or any of your kits back in stock? And the, the answer is yes. They just take so much time and energy because there's so many parts you have to count. You have to count each individual kit. I think that has 130 or 150 pieces in it. And... Um, yeah, you have to count each kit. So I'm making 50 of those. So what is that? Like over 5,000 pieces that you have to hand count. So it's a lot to deal with. But uh, but yeah, once they're packed, they're packed. I can put them on you know, a shelf in there. That's going to be a lot, actually. 50 kits, that's going to be a lot of space. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. I'm probably going to have to clear off some of those bottom shelves or something like that. But And then let's see. 
Yeah, once I'm clear, I cleared up some other stuff with printing as far as getting stuff out of the way for customers. So I got to, these are a new figure that I really want to print. I know a lot of you guys have been liking my zombie stuff, especially, first of all, thank you for everyone that's been buying the new zombie head pack. I came out with a second zombie head pack with a bunch of new designs. Um, there's some of the designs right there. I don't think, yeah, these are some of them. So I came out with these and a lot of you guys like these. So I appreciate all the support and buying all these um, means a lot to me. And that new figure is a zombie figure. So I don't know if you guys would be able to guess what it is. It's an all yellow suit and it's from Call of Duty. So uh, maybe you guys can guess that in the comments down below, but I think that's gonna be a really popular figure. So I'm excited to get that printing. And uh, yeah, so other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the orders. Feel free to check me out, bricktactical.com on Instagram as well and on TikTok. And uh, check some more videos out. Check out that mash, uh, minifigure mashup video right here. Check that out. Let me know what you guys think of it. Check out another video over here and then subscribe by clicking right there. We've been killing it with the subscribers. We're almost to 82,000. So if we could get to that, that would be awesome. I plan to do a giveaway here soon. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys next time.